Good morning friends. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Today I am going to teach 8 bit ripple carry adder. So here we are going to see the signing code, Verilog code as well as um, the working of the circuit diagram. So let's see the circuit first. So for a 8 bit full adder we require 8 full adders. So for and the inputs to the full adder are A and B. So A is 8 bits. So I am writing A0, A1, A2, A3, A4, A5. For array of B, that is B0, B1, B2, B3, B4, B5, B6, and B7. And then, the sum of the first full adder is S0, next full adder is S1 and this full adder will be giving one sum and one carry. But we, as we know a full adder has three inputs so to this we, sh we are giving one input that is C in. So A, B, C three inputs and sum and carry. So this carry will be we will be writing here and this will be providing the carry to the next full adder. So C0 and similarly S1 C1 S2 C2 Sum 3 LB Sum 4 L4 Sum 5 and 5 Sum 6 and 6 And for the last output last full adder we do not require this carry to be given to anything so we will be seeing as a C out this is the last carry so how to so first of all we should know the full adder to table to table full adder to table is as shown a b and c in are three input sum and carry 100 101 110 111 so when a plus, plus 0 plus 0 plus 0 is sum 0 carry 0 this sum 1 carry 0 sum 1 carry 0 sum 0 carry 1 sum 1 carry 0 sum 0 carry 1 sum 0 carry 1 carry 1 and sum also 1 now how to write the Verilog code for this so here we are using a variables a b sum and carry c in and c out so first of all we have to write module for a full adder so here we are using a structural way of programming structural model so a full adder a b c in sum and c out that is first we are writing for the program for one full adder and then we are calling that eight times in order to perform the function so for module full adder inputs Input A, B and C in are the inputs. Outputs are sum and C out. So assign, we are using assign statement. Assign sum is equal to A XOR, B XOR, C in and assign C out is equal to A and B or B and N module. Next, we are going to write the structural code that is full adder, some name structural, again we have A, B, C in, sum, and C out. Now here the input is 8 bits so I will be writing 8 down to 0 sorry 7 down to 0 a comma b input c in next output 
output is also 8 bits that's why a 7 down to 0 sum then output c out now we are calling so how to call so and another thing is i am using wires like c0 c1 c2 these are all wires so how to write wire i have to write wires how many wires i have used i have used six wires that's for six down to zero six down to zero c Next. in order to call the first full adder we have to select a we have to write a zero b zero c zero c in and then since it is similar to the full adder program we are port mapping the this video got disconnected next the output of this full adder is sum zero therefore uh, uh, sum zero comes in the sum comes in the fourth position of this uh, full adder so i have to write the sum in fourth position sum zero and next our uh, carry output is uh, the carry output is c0 therefore c0 here uh, it is in the last position hence i have used a uh, wire that is 6 down to 0 C therefore I will be writing the first wire that is C0 similarly I have to repeat this for next full adder that is the this full adder for this full adder the inputs are A1, B1 and C0 C0 and outputs are sum 1 and C1 that's why I will be writing A1, B1, C0, sum 1 and C1 Similarly, I have to repeat for all the all the full letters that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Another 6 I have to write it down. So I will be writing it down. This is the name of the module and this specifies the label. This is called port mapping. Sum two, sum three, C three, full adder A five, B four, C three, sum four, C four, full adder A six, A five. B5, C4, SUM5, C5, A7, A7, A6, B6, C6, C5, SUM6, C6, next full adder A8, A7, now this is the last uh, full adder therefore the inputs are a7 b7 c6 so a7 b7 c6 outputs are sum 7 and c out therefore i will be writing sum 7 and not c7 so c out that is the last output that is here yeah, output c out now we will be writing end module Yeah, so this is the complete program. As you can see, this, uh, this is the complete program. Now I will execute this program in the Xilinx, Xilinx ISC 10.1 program. And I will so now we are going to see the Xilinx ISC simulator. So in order to open Xilinx, we have to click on the icon Xilinx ISC 10.1. Once the window is opened, click on the OK button on the tips of day. Click on the close project if any project is open. If no project is open, click on file, go to new project, write the name of the project in ripple carry adder. Click on next. Save the write the uh, make the for setting as shown in the video. Click on next, uh, click on new source, click on Verilog module, write the file name for the module. 
I am writing Ripple Carry. Don't write any report name here. Click on next. Click on finish button. Click on yes. Again click on next. Click on next. Click on finish. Now you will be getting a window where you can write the program. Now I have typed the program as you can see pause and see the codes you, the whole program has been written two modules are present one is full adder and another is full adder structure now click on save go to full adder structure go to in behavioral implementation click on full adder structure right click and click on new source click on test bench and give the file name as t next use full address structural uh, since it is the main program then click on the next button click on finish now use combinational clock and click on finish now here i have to give the inputs uh, so i am giving i am uh, clicking on that and then giving as 25 then uh, the uh, b b i am also again i am giving as 25 and uh, 25 plus 25 i will calculate and with the uh, one carry also i will be carry calculating by giving c in as one again i will be using the uh, fullest uh, limit that is ff ff is the um, upper most uh, of 8 bit data and with carry also i am calculating now click on source click on processes then click on the uh, test bin waveform and then select xilin ic simulator by clicking on the plus icon then and simulate the behavioral model now we have got the output minimize the page and you can see 25 plus 25 is 4a 25 plus 25 plus carry in is 4b ff plus ff is fe and ff plus ff plus carry is 1 fe FF. So use a calculator. Go select the hexadecimal number, then type the values. For 25 plus 25 gives 4a. So the our output is correct. Now if we add carry to it, it will be 4b. So this is also correct. Next we can calculate for ff ff plus ff gives 1 fe yes it is output is correct the c out is 1 and fe is some uh, in the sum fe is there uh, ff 1 ff so 1 ff comes in the carry and uh, sum is ff so 1 ff it is read as 1 ff okay thank you for watching my video if you like this video click on the like button and subscribe to my channel